Tyler Sabrell's Popping is Cracking It Steve Boss Rex. This vet is titled Why Tyler the Creator's New Album Changes Everything. Okay, speaking of, I just reacted to his new album. It is up on my Patreon right now. It's up right now. Check it out if you're interested. Link down below. I also recently reacted to uh, Meg Thee Stallion's new album, and I will be reacting to Lil Uzi's album when, when it drops. But yes, let's hear what he has to say about this new album. Let's watch. Now, after waiting more time than we ever have between his full-length studio albums, Tyler, the creator, has finally released his brand new and most hyped up record yet, Chromacopia. And while just from a single listen, anyone can tell you that there is so much to discover and digest about this record, what's abundantly clear is that even with the pressure being higher than ever and Tyler being on what has become one of the greatest runs we have ever seen from a rapper in terms of just how amazing the albums he's been delivering are, is that the pressure has not gotten to him one bit and if it has, it's only made him go harder because from the very beginning of Chromacopia all the way until you finish listening to it over 53 minutes later, all throughout the record you see that Tyler the Creator put everything he had as both a musician and a man into this album to make his most personal and compelling experience to date. And more than ever for his standards, which is already saying a lot, he put more emotion and personality than we have ever seen from him before throughout every single track on this record, which creates such a powerful experience that doesn't just engage you, the listener, more than nearly any other album these days can because of how captivating the prospect of all of this is in its sheer nature. But Tyler goes all out to make every corner and small detail of this project shake and stick with you for a long time to come as he attempts to have us further understand his emotionality and most introspective of thoughts on a level that we have never seen up to this point. And speaking of going all out, make sure you are all in on the channel by hitting that subscribe button so you are updated on everything you need to know about Chromacopia and leave a like while you're at it. And before you can even press play on this record, from the branding of the character Tyler is playing, whose signature prop this time around is a mask that's covering his face, to before you can even hear Tyler on the intro track and we hear the album's narrator, which instead of being a celebrity like Jared Carmichael who narrated Igor, or a hip-hop legend like DJ Drama who was talking all throughout Call Me If You Get Lost, the album. tone is shifted and the precedent for what's to come next is never set in a more telling way because serving as the voice of reason on this album is none other than Tyler's own mother, Onita Smith, who kicks off things saying, You are the light, it's not on you, it's in you. Don't you ever in your mother effing life dim your light for nobody, which is a super powerful thing to say when you understand that this is advice she gave to her son and ultimately, that these words serve as the frame of reference and compass that we see this version of Tyler try to find himself through. And so now with the stakes being this personal, especially compared to an album like Call Me If You Get Lost where Tyler was flexing to levels we have never seen, or even on a record like Igor, where despite how emotional that album was, he was projecting everything through a fictionalized world all throughout. Here, Tyler is in his most raw state in all senses of the word, and musically, even for his standards, which is again saying a lot, he just goes absolutely insane on this thing as he just shows off how versatile his palette is, and also how he can seamlessly fuse so many different styles together and put them all into one cohesive body of work. And while on the biggest songs Tyler previewed before the record, such as the intro track St. Chroma and Noid, these cuts sounded so intense and experimental, and hearing them in full, they definitely are, the musical scope of this project is so much bigger than just this. And while when many artists try to expand their sonic reach too wide in one album, they end up failing and making their record sound like an absolute mess. And this was one of the worries some people had for this album as it did seem like Tyler was shifting back into the territory he explored in his 2015 album Cherry Bomb. Tyler thrives by living in unpredictability here and this really should be no surprise as when we look at the album run he has been on leading up to this, from the melodies of Igor to the rapping of Call Me If You Get Lost to everything in between, Tyler has mastered all of the pillars of his craft and here uses everything he's grown into over the years to give us the ultimate highlight reel performance, where we will see him rap with more aggression and conviction than ever on a track like Ra Ta Ta, but then just a few tracks later create a hypnotic and atmospheric ballad like Darling Eye. And now beyond these songs just being a way for Tyler to show that he may just be the most versatile artist out in music right now, I'd go as far with that statement at this point because who else is really rivaling this range? Tyler also uses the different vibes and styles of the tracks on this record to masterfully architect the story he is trying to tell, which from going on this insane ego trip on Ra Ta Ta where he is flexing about everything he has accomplished while also reminiscing on the high points of his journey over the years, to then Darling Eye where right alongside the bubbly vocals and beat, he is exploring his emotions and delusions about love. Tyler really sets himself apart from 99% of rappers and really just all artists today because his storytelling is so multidimensional. 
as it paints a grander picture than just putting words on paper ever could, as from the very subtle nuances in the instrumentals he is creating onward. Every piece of his musical arrangements are all there to tell the story and give the listener the strongest emotional impact possible. And here more than ever, it really reminds you that whenever you get to witness an artist that is able to do this, whether it's someone like a prime Ye, Kendrick Lamar, Andre 3000 back in the day, or Tyler the Creator now, it's really just such a marvel in of itself and is more definitive proof than anything else you can grapple with that highlights who are the sheer and utter best hip hop artists in the world. And now speaking of being the best hip hop artist in the world, Another characteristic of these once-in-a-lifetime generational talents in hip-hop is their ability to curate an album experience and find the most creative and innovative ways to tell a story and make a trackless flow and make sense. And now, in the modern era of music and hip-hop especially, one of the most important parts of this process is, of course, the features that surprise listeners on this journey and masterfully gel into this crescendo the artist is trying to create. And now while Tyler almost had us and tried trolling us as he said there were no features on this album, as we already heard Daniel Caesar's vocals in the background of St. Chroma, this already seemed like a joke, and fortunately it was, because the guests Tyler brings here only make this thing more exciting, and even when it seemed like Tyler may have went too far bringing in certain names and splicing them all together into one cut like with Sexy Red, Glorilla, and Lil Wayne on the song Stick. He manages to somehow put it all together and make it work, which is just amazing and really an anomaly because with this posse cut between Tyler, Wheezy, Sexy Red, and Glorilla, it's now joining a track like What's Your Name with NBA Youngboy from Call Me If You Get Lost is not just one of the standout bangers from the album, but due to the way it blends such a wide and shocking array of talent together and brings out the absolute best in them is genuinely amazing and a sentiment to just how fearless Tyler is as a creative at this point in his career because seriously, who would just ever think to even do something like this and then execute it this well? And now beyond a mega collaboration like we see here, <laughs> other than names show up all over this thing, with two of the most memorable BTs of Touchdown on Darling Eye, who just delivers some beautiful medley lines here that perfectly foil the performance and production of Tyler, and even more memorable and powerful than this feature, Chromacopia marks the first time we ever hear Tyler the Creator and Childish Gambino collaborate on a song, and after so many years of this collab being anticipated and desired by fans, we have finally gotten, and while Gambino doesn't deliver a full-on verse or anything, just hearing his one-of-a-kind voice and amazing singing just changed the atmosphere of the entire record makes it all worth it and again shows Tyler's rare found ability to know how to use everyone he works with for the uh, best sake of his vision and the uh, art first and not just the star power or marketing of the record by having a big name on it and now joining this list and making for an arguably better feature than these and maybe even the best guest performance on the entire album. We see Tyler the Creator and Schoolboy Q collab for the first time in years, and while on the snippet Tyler released of this a few days before the record drop, it already sounded amazing with its hypnotic yet tense instrumental, which just allowed for Tyler to rap with a sense of ruthlessness and urgency that we hardly ever say. Q only manages to make things even better here, as his haunting bravado perfectly matches the energy of Tyler and the beat. And now when it comes to Tyler the Creator working with rappers from Top Dog Entertainment, School Like You isn't the only MC we see here, and while many people wanted to see Kendrick Lamar on this album, which while I get from a hype standpoint, in reality, Kendrick being here probably would have taken away from the actual hey, story and narrative of what Tyler was doing here, or and just made whatever shit. their collab was too much of a spectacle to release it at this moment, because based on the way Kendrick and Tyler keep showing love to one another, I'm sure they have worked on something together that we may eventually hear, but just not yet. But now in the meantime, joining the world of Chromacopia masterfully, we see Tyler feature anything. none other than the rapper who Kendrick Lamar said is the hardest out right now in Doji on the track Balloon. And with Doji getting the biggest feature spot of her entire career, she makes sure people will remember her name by showing off her one-of-a-kind energy and lyrical ferocity that makes her such an electrifying MC and performer. And with the energy she brings to the table, right, so Doji too. really shows herself to be the perfect match to Tyler, the creator. And ultimately, with all of these features perfectly molding into the world of Chromacopia, and Tyler really using every single voice as an instrument to enhance the project, even in such instances where he is using just a single baby keen Adlib to create the perfect moment on a track like Like Him. Chromacopia makes for arguably his best use of guest performances yet. And now between this, the dynamic and detailed production which Tyler is the sole producer of aside from the intro track which he co-produced, 
Well, Tyler, the creator, pulling all of this off is nothing new at this point because on each album since Flower Boy, he has only further harnessed all of these skills and grown them. I don't think people realize yet how impressive it is that now Tyler has delivered not one, not two, not three, but four entire albums that reach a bar of quality that few rappers and artists ever even reach once. And I mean, in all honesty, with many rappers who we consider to be great, there are hardly any that have made four albums on this level, and really only a handful who have done so in a row. And with Tyler performing, writing, and producing on every single song here, this brings him into a tier that even fewer artists can hang alongside him in, because he has truly solidified himself as the ultimate artist you can be in today's era, as he holds more creative control over his vision than most musicians could ever imagine. And from the fact that he seemingly brought this world all to life with his own skills and mind first, to him literally putting this record out on a Monday, where everyone can have a different and more personal listening experience with this record, because we can sit with it all day after day this week while we go through our own routines. All in all, every single aspect about Chromacopia, as yeah, we can see, is it. right now proving itself to be more than a game changer. And while there is still so much to discover and explore about this record, and I definitely will be making more videos going deeper into it, because Tyler has left us with so much to uncover, so be sure to subscribe to see that. What's clear is that this is another great album, and maybe even Tyler's best yet. And the fact that even after all of this time, all the accomplishments and awards and all of the pressure, that Tyler the Creator is still reaching that bar of quality needed to captivate audiences and make them question if this record is the best project we've ever heard from him. It truly says more than it's anything else we could ever put into words about his artistry, and without a doubt leaves him as one of the best rappers right now and of this entire generation with ease. And so now with all of this said, let me know. What are your first thoughts on- Oh, he's very excited about this project. He obviously really enjoyed it. I definitely wanted to hear what, you know, someone else thinks about it since it just dropped. So, you know, I was interested in hearing someone's thoughts. Uh, but yeah, I already gave my opinion of the album. I have been listening to Tyler for a minute now. So it is very cool to see his growth. Uh, but yeah. I gave all my thoughts on Patreon. Go check it out. Link down below. Uh, y'all let me know what y'all think, though. Let me know what other videos you want to watch, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!